Hi there, Amy here with a couple super quick and easy holiday card ideas for you. So these cards are going to feature two of the brand new layered stencils. These are part of the awesome October release at A Colorful Life Designs. I will have all of the details on the products used linked in the video details below. So scroll down and check that out. There's also a coupon code if you shop. So I'm just gonna jump right in here. I have some black soot distress ink. I have some Catherine Pooler mini ink pads and some blending brushes from the rabbit hole designs. So I'm using this super cute layered string light stencil and I'm starting off with the string portion of the stencil. I decided to kind of cock it a little bit to the side. Um, just a heads up, it is easier if you do it, you know, kind of completely upright and not at an angle. It does make it a little bit easier to line up um, that way, but I made it work fine at an angle. So I just liked the, the look of these string lights off to the side. I did realize after I ink blended this that I probably could have lined it up a little bit better so that it went all the way to the edge, but that wasn't the stencil's fault. That was totally user error. So you can see it doesn't connect all the way to the edge and I'm trying to kind of fill in those little gaps there but again that's totally my fault just not paying attention um, I'm moving very quickly like I said this is actually stenciling directly on the card base so this is making single layer um, super quick Christmas card ideas so if you need to make a bunch of them this may be a good option for you so here I'm busting out my brand new little um, blending tools. These are new to the rabbit hole designs and I thought they would be the perfect complement for the stencil to get in these little nooks and crannies. And you could see I'm not having any issue at all um, being able to skip over the rows and not overlap with the other colors. So this is a really nice tool to have if you're you're into stenciling like I am because it'll help you get into those little tight spots. So I'm just doing two of the rows with red and two of the rows with green. This is the Mardi Gras and the Samba colors from Catherine Pooler. Um, they look a little reddish orange on the screen, but that's just my terrible artificial lighting. So it's actually like a proper bright red. So you can see here when I reveal how fun is this stencil. I love it. So you see there's a couple little areas where it's a little messy that's because you may not be able to see it this at this point but um i was moving really quickly so i think i kind of shoved some of the bristles underneath the stencil um you can certainly use pixie spray to hold on the stencil and probably eliminate that possibility entirely but like i said i was moving really super quickly um so it's a bit of a user error there but i have this uh pink fresh studios holiday stamp set and i pick a sentiment that works perfect with the little twinkle lights and i just decide to stamp that down in the bottom right corner with some uh, black pigment ink and just lining that up to make sure it's straight i did use my um, mono sand eraser there because i think i had some fingerprints again because I'm rushing so uh, stamp that down make sure that's dry before I stick my finger in it and smear it all over the place but that pretty much finishes the design um, I decided to go in with a white gel pen and just do some little highlights super quick and easy I also use the white gel pen to kind of go around the edges you can see where I kind of went outside the stencil um, it's a quick quick and easy little cleanup option but like I said if you slow down a little bit and especially if you use pixie spray I don't I don't think that would happen to you so that finishes this first super quick and easy card and next up we have um, layered glowing candles so how cool is this stencil you could totally use those candles for just like a birthday card or whatever it doesn't have to be holiday related I have this stamp and die set. This was part of a Hero Arts uh, monthly card kit. I think it was last year. Um, but I decided to use one of the sentiments from that. And originally I'm thinking of doing the sentiment on the bottom, but after I did the ink blending, you'll see on the finished card that I actually um, decided to, to do it on top of the row of candles. 
and you can certainly you know make a whole background of candles I just decided to use one row for this composition I like clean and simple I like a lot of white space but again totally up to you um, these layered stencils are awesome at basically creating your own pattern paper so um, again I'm using the same little blending tools these new cute brushes from rabbit hole and alternating between red and green candles again I'm <laughs> kind of going fast here um, but I also am kind of using the red just to brush up on the bottom part of the flame part because I don't want it to just be pure yellow so I'm using red knowing that I'm going to come back in with the yellow and kind of blend it out so doing the two green candles and then I'll come back in with the yellow to do the little flames but I decided to wipe off the the stencil first because I don't want to transfer any of the red or green um, in the yellow portion so I wipe that off line it back up you can see again I made a mistake that's just me rushing <laughs> getting those little bristles right underneath the stencil um, and use the yellow to kind of just put in the little flame portion and then it blended out really nicely with the little bit of red that I put there just to kind of make it have a little color then I remove this portion and put the next layer of the stencil on there super easy to line up and again I'm going to do the same thing use that yellow color and ink blend right over in that little glowing part of the stencil and then I end up just using the residual red that's already on that brush um, I had coral cabana there off to the side I wasn't sure if I was going to use that but I ended up not using it for these I just used the three colors um, and I'm using the red again in the center like I said just to give it a little bit of dimension and, and interest there and you can see here on the reveal so fun so easy you could totally crank out a ton of these cards this is right on the card base nice and flat um, super easy if you have a lot of Christmas cards to make or holiday cards this, <laughs> this might be a good option for you so again I use that white gel pen to kind of clean up my mistake and you don't see it here but I did, I did actually go back and put some highlights on the candle as well with the white gel pen um, so that just gave it a little extra something so there you have it two super quick and easy easy to batch easy to create easy to ship holiday cards so be sure to check out the rest of the October release at a colorful life designs and all the other layered stencils in her lineup it's it's pretty incredible so I hope you enjoyed this if you did please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel let me know comment in the comments uh, what one you like better if you're gonna try batching your holiday cards like this or if you're a, a one-off kind of person if you want just all individual all unique cards so let me know what your plan is I'd love to hear it I read all your comments and I love hearing from you so thanks again for watching I'll catch you next time Bye.